Every year, breast cancer is diagnosed in hundreds of thousands of people across the country. And to this day, it's still the second leading cause of cancer death among women. So today we're talking about new guidelines just published regarding mammogram screenings. That's right. So joining us and to break it all down is Dr. Virginia Coclamani, the breast medical oncologist at UT Health San Antonio MD Anderson Cancer Center. Good morning, doctor. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning and have a happy Mother's Day. Thank Mother's you. Mother's Day. You as well. So, doctor, what are the new guidelines and why does this change matter? So the new guidelines recommend us doing screening mammograms starting at the age of 40 until the age of 74 every two years. So that may be a little hard for people to remember. So maybe think uh, my odd years I'm having a mammogram or my even years I'm having a mammogram. Uh, it, it's important because previously the the, the guidelines said uh, that we should start screening at the age of 50, which uh, the, the committee decided uh, based on some recent data, it's probably a little too old for us because we're having many breast cancers being diagnosed at younger ages. So how will lowering the starting age help in diagnosing breast cancer and, tr and treating it? So our studies have shown that there is up to a 43% decrease in mortality by doing mammograms starting at the age of 40. We're recognizing that younger women are being diagnosed. And so if we're able to diagnose that breast cancer at an earlier stage, we, we have a much higher likelihood of curing it. And so all mammogram requests include information about breast density. What does this mean and what should our viewers know about that in case they go get one? Yeah, so this is very confusing and we had state guidelines for a while, but the FDA a couple months ago actually said that now it's FDA mandated that every mammogram will give us information about our breast density. And we know that women that have dense breasts have a higher risk of breast cancer. We also know that mammograms may not be as effective in dense breasts just because the tissue is hard to see on a mammogram. So the guidelines say that we don't have enough data to recommend ultrasounds or MRIs in those women, and we really don't. But this is where I would suggest that you talk to your radiologist when you have the mammogram and have a combined decision as to whether you should potentially have an ultrasound or even an MRI. What does it mean when a woman is at risk due to genetics or her mother or grandmother um, was diagnosed with breast cancer? And this is an important point. All of these guidelines are for women that have a general risk of having breast cancer, not a high risk. So if you have a family history, if you have a specific mutation in a gene, so a change in a gene that puts you at risk of getting breast cancer, these guidelines do not apply to you. Then we have different guidelines that recommend starting mammograms as, as young as, as 30 and MRIs as young as 30, uh, 25. So that's where, again, discussing with your physician, getting a family history, understanding Understanding what your personal risk is will help with screening guidelines for you. And I know breast cancer is almost ubiquitous around the United States. I personally know about five people who have had, gone through, or passed away because of breast cancer. So make the pitch to people watching. Why is it so important that women get screened early and, and why should they get a mammogram? So as, as you mentioned in the beginning of the segment, uh, breast cancer is the second leading uh, cause of death in women, uh, the first being heart disease. And, and we know that early detection is the key to curing it. So please go have your mammograms. Again, guidelines starting at the age of 40, every two years until the age of 74, it saves lives. Dr. Kaklamani, thank you so much for joining us and happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.